we estimated that the forest fires in Canada released about 2.98 billion tons of carbon dioxide, which is about four times as much carbon as global aviation sector, and about 25% higher than the emissions from all primary tropical tree cover loss in 2023. Forests worldwide are known as carbon sinks, so they remove a lot of carbon from the atmosphere, and that gets stored in their uh, branches, their trunks, their leaves, kind of in the ground as well. And so when they burn, all the carbon that's stored within them gets released back into the atmosphere. And so that's kind of that connection between forest fires and carbon emissions. If you compare it to like fossil fuel emissions from countries, for example, I think it was on the level of Russia um, in terms of the amount of carbon dioxide that was released. And so it definitely does have an impact. I mean, that is only one year and the emissions from countries are annual, so they're continually compounding each other. But it definitely does have an impact on the global scale in terms of the amount of emissions that were produced in 2023. We also need to bring up uh, air quality because of these uh, catastrophic fires. Air quality in, in um, populated areas and cities was uh, affected last year. We all saw uh, pictures of smog in New York City and uh, other cities on the east coast of the United States. So it's like a catastrophic um, emission, uh, which has health consequences as well. 